Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to Guns N' Roses Central. And this was a Guns N' Roses Central exclusive story from a couple weeks ago. And this, take it with a grain of salt guys, but I've heard this from other people that Guns N' Roses may release new music this year or early next year. And the rumor is that Axel has already laid on vocals as well. And that was probably the thing that was taking the longest amount of time. So this really dates back to the whole leak saga that happened a couple weekends ago in late July. And that's when 15 CDs worth of material mostly consisting of material from Axl Rose's solo record, Chinese Democracy, was snatched up by a few fans, and a few songs leaked online, and then everything went dark because the band's management stepped in. So why would the band's management be so eager to stop the release of material that's up to 20 years old? Why would they care so much about isolated drum tracks or guitar tracks? Well, the people I've spoken to, and like I said, take it with a grain of salt, it's because Guns N' Roses are much closer to releasing newer music than they've been letting on, and it could include some of the material that Axl Rose had been previously working on. Axl has been recently working on laying down vocal tracks, possibly, and the band is planning on touring this fall, which, we, which they've already announced, which could see them perform new music, and it will be the first time in over a decade. But the band is also releasing a new pinball machine later this year, or early next year, according to Slash, and we previously reported that Slash had visited Axl Rose's home a little while back to work on new material. Couple this with the fact that we exclusively reported that Richard Fortas dropped the news of what Guns N' Roses' new album could sound like. Things could be looking up for the group. It's also important to note that since this news broke, that Slash is off the road now with Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators. So he's got some free time, while Duff is still, of course, on tour with his band until September. So... Couple this also, I should note that couple this with the fact that the band will likely be touring Europe next year and South America. It seems like the perfect time to release music, and the band would have a period of time between January to probably May of next year in terms of you know them finishing up the album and releasing it, and maybe doing some promotion for it. But that's what I've heard so far, and like I said, take it with a grain of salt. So turning now to some other Guns N' Roses news. Now, while you guys wait for your music. Uh, Facebook has announced Guns N' Roses and Slipknot face filters are now on the platform, so fans can now dress their face up with a We Are Not Your Kind mask or a skull from Appetite for Destruction. So it kind of makes you wonder how much is Guns N' Roses going to milk Appetite for Destruction for in terms of how much it's worth. So like a lot of people, I just want new music, but at least they're doing something, I guess. So if you guys go to Facebook, you should be able to do it. I don't know if there was a time limit on when these face filters would stay or when they would go, but at the time of reporting this, which was in late July of, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, Facebook had just unveiled this new feature. Hanoi Rock's frontman Mike Monroe praised Guns N' Roses members Duff and Slash during a recent interview. So he was interviewed on Chaos TV, and the former Hanoi Rock's frontman was asked about his experience opening for Guns N' Roses in July of 2017 during their trek through Europe uh, when they stopped in Finland. And he said, we're old friends, he said, referring to Slash and Duff. Uh, we did a uh, there's a documentary in the making of me which won't be finished for a while but they were kind enough to do an interview both did separate interviews backstage for the documentary and they're sweet guys they never changed slash and duff for example they've got such great character and they're such sweethearts and they've only gotten nicer over the years and they've never changed heart of gold and really down to earth i appreciate that in people he also said to me the important thing in the whole career was that no matter how famous or rich i would become if I turned into a jerk in the process and I lost my soul, then none of the money or fame would be worth it. I would have screwed up, he continued. That was the first and most important thing. My integrity has to be intact before anything else. And doing things on my own terms, my own way, and not compromising for the wrong reasons, that was more important. So if you guys remember back in December of 2015, a month before the Guns N' Roses reunion was made official, Monroe said that a comeback of the classic lineup of Guns N' Roses wouldn't make any sense unless Slash and Axel were able to reconnect on a personal and creative level first. And he told Eddie Trunk during that podcast that reunions suck. People ask me, do you think Guns N' Roses will reunite? It wouldn't make any sense unless Slash and Axel would reconnect and really get into a new kind of thing and start creating something new. Who wants to see the guys put together forcibly and then go through the old stuff? It doesn't make any sense to me, and which is kind of funny because that's what they've been doing for the last three years or so. And finally, turning now to some Guns N' Roses social media news. So I don't know if you guys follow them on Facebook or Twitter. They sometimes do post some pretty random stuff, and uh, you know, as you know, they're big environmentalists and big animal rights activists. Even though they fly on private jet, um, they were 
I posted an article about the fact that India's wild tiger population rose by 33% in four years. Um, so that basically does it for today's news, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, go check me out on Rock and Roll True Stories sticker.